unified approach and layered architecture it is a very important concept the unified approach ua is based on the methodologies of butch rambach and jacobson it combines the best practices and processes and guidelines along with the object management group so that is the omg and unified modeling language uml so that is our unified approach and layered architecture so in case of unified approach processes and here we are having the second column head is unified approach methodologies and technology so if you go for the process like use case driven development in case of ua methodologies we will be having the uml that is the unified modeling language in case of ua processes that is object oriented analysis oa here we can go for the layered architecture which which we will be discussing in our next slides next one is the object oriented design and here we are having object oriented repository for object oriented system development patterns and the respective frameworks next next one is incremental development prototyping and continuous testing here we are having the component based development that is cbd so on the left column we are having the ua processes on the right hand side we are having the ua methodologies and the respective technologies to be used now let us go for the layered architecture for the better understanding so the layered approach of ua is followed in client server application development environment that tend to lean towards the entire architecture we know that in case of client server architecture the server is containing the full version of the database at the client machine some softwares are running and those softwares are having some user interface with the help of which the users will be interacting and requests will be going to the server and then the responses will be coming from the server after being processed at the server end the corresponding response will be coming from the server to the client machine so that is our client server environment in short in a nutshell we can describe it in this way so here in case of layered architecture here we are considering the three layers in this layered approach the first one is the access layer so what is the main purpose of this access layer that is access storage and the respective storage retrieval and then business layer which is holding the business logic business constraints and the queries and then we are having the view layer where this user will be interacting containing the user interface so here we are having this database server and here we are having this user or the client so now we are having three layers are there so in the in the first layer we are having this oa that is the object oriented analysis and that is the view layer and in the second layer we are having this oa and an application web application or web server here we can containing the business layer containing the different constraints rules and regulations and queries and this is our object oriented design and prototyping here we are considering this access layer which will be having the inner protocol the enough protocol to have the database storage retrieval and accessing so in this way we have mentioned the three layers and in this diagrams the three layers have got displayed there so here we are having this database orb internet and etc here we are having this access layer which will be interacting with this database for the fruitful and efficient database storage and retrieval operation and this business layer will be holding the different business logic the business constraints and the queries and there is a view layer with with which the client or user will be interacting some in some interface will be provided so that they will feel a very convenient way to interact with the system so here we are having the access objects then we are having this business objects and here we are having this view objects so this view objects will be made available to the client or the user this access objects will be will be there to have the access over the database storage and retrieval and this business objects will be holding the business logic the constraints and their respective queries so this is the three layered our approach in case of layered architecture so using this proper diagrams we have discussed what is the unified approach and what is the layered architecture in the next videos we will be going for more detailing on them please watch all of them so that you can have a good conception over this unified approach and this layered architecture
Thanks for watching this video.